Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Jamie Hughes News. My name as always is Jamie Hughes and for the fans of all things spooky, dooky and supernatural, rejoice. What well, kind of rejoice? Uh, basically, Jason Blum of Blumhouse, the guy behind kind of every good horror movie in the past five or six years or so, has announced that at some point they are moving forward with a sinister and insidious crossover movie. Now this film has been in the works for a while but they've not really known when to pull the trigger for it. They still don't know when they're going to do it but they are pretty confident it's going to happen at some point. And I think now is the right time to do it for both movies. Now both of these movies were very, very good commercial and kind of critical successes when they first came out. Obviously, Sinister had that really bad sequel and then Insidious has kind of kept a kind of decent box office run and critical run. Uh, I know that the last key is getting some mixed reviews and some kind of heavily bad reviews, but I I've not seen it yet because it's not been released over here in the UK at, at this moment in time, so I haven't seen it, so I can't really pass judgment on that. But I think this is the right time to do it. I think combining Bagul and the further together is a really good formula for a great horror movie. I think it's the shot on the arm that both franchises need. Uh, and you could kind of have your own franchise of those two um, monsters and kind of monster worlds going forward as well. So I think it's a really interesting and kind of cool story if, and this is a big if, if they can deliver on it. I think that that's where the faults can come with this movie is the execution. I mean, if they just basically rehash the, the stories of Sinister and Insidious, like the first couple of movies, if they just rehash them and don't create an original story, then people are going to turn off and get bored of this franchise very, very quickly, and it could spell bad news for Blumhouse going forward. But I have hope. I have faith. I, I, I feel like they can do this, and I'm really excited to see where this Sinister franchise, this, what can we call it, In Sinister? In Sinister franchise, where can this In Sinister franchise go? So let me know, guys, what you think about this. Are you a fan of horror movies? Are you a fan of Insidious and, um, more, well, more Insidious than Sinister because Sinister is kind of um, floundering at the minute, but are you a fan of Insidious? Are you a fan of these movies? Do you think this movie can work? Uh, I hold out some mild optimism for it, but I'd love to know your thoughts on it, as always down in the comments below and that is it that that is it for this very quick news video so if you did enjoy this video and you want to keep up to date with all the latest movie news and reviews then make sure you hit that subscribe button want to give it a like because it lets me know that you're enjoying this kind of type of content and i will see you in the very next episode of the jamie hughes show ta-ra mm -hmm.